finally, this just came out of the hole. And it's a little lock. Look, I see silver. I see an aluminum cap. <laughs> right there. I can't tell because it's all brown. But it's definitely not clad. There's, uh, there's stars. Silver. There's stars right there. Hello, it's Metal Mike. And Persis. We were at a uh, new permission today. This one was funny because I was at a, uh, a store and the clerk uh, laughed at my I'd rather be dirt fishing t-shirt. <laughs> and uh, so I started talking to her about metal detecting and asked if she had an old home and uh, if she was local and she said yes. So I said, well, is it possible my wife and I detect there? And she said, yo, by all means. So very wonderful people here. The uh, home is built in 1860. We're at the back side of it right here. I promise I wouldn't show uh, the location. But uh, yeah, it's got on the other side, it's got a nice uh, good sized lawn and uh, we'll open and find some old things. Well, this is my first signal of the day um, and it was in 1819 and went down right here and pulled out this, which is a nice old silver plated spoon bowl. And then it seemed like there was a signal in the side. Doesn't look like I broke it. That doesn't look like a fresh break right there. Maybe that's a fresh break right there, but. <laughs> and so it felt like there was a signal in the side, scanned it, 16, 17 over here, and just fig found it. it. Took me a hot second, but I did find it. And here is the handle for this lovely old spoon. So there we go. That's a good start. I will take it. Nice old silver plated spoon. So I decided to start near like the driveway and the uh, walkway into the house. Uh, of course I'm finding a lot of clad. Uh, but I did find a weedy. So I guess that's cool. But this is my first interesting thing. Down here was a 1920 and I popped out a handful of dirt and that came out. So I just wanted to give it a spray because it looks like some type of badge or pin or something. Huh. Am I holding it right? Oh, like that. Oh, it's got words on it too. Yeah, I think it's a pendant. Uh, one the of those loop. Mother Mary pendants? Or, yeah. yeah, it almost looks like... Something better. St. Christopher. It is a St. Christopher, okay. Something guide. Yeah, he's the one that's supposed to guide you safely or whatever, right? Yeah, that's really cool. Looks like he's like holding a spear or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Catholic in case of accidental. So <laughs> please call a priest. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I find a lot of those. <laughs> oh, that's a lot cool. Of Catholics who don't have their badge that says they're Catholic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hopefully nothing happened to them. Well, I've been chasing a 1920 in this hole and it was just, it was super strong, but I just, I, I kept pulling out charcoal that was making my pinpointer go off and I was like, no, nah, I know there's something better in here. And it just surfaced, it's that right there, which that looks like a skeleton key, doesn't it? Let's see if it's in any kind of shape. Oh God, yes. Oh, look at that. Woohoo. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice beefy one. I got a spoon and a key. I'm on household items today. Yeah, I'm on clad over there. Uh, oh, wow, what a beauty. Yeah. There's oh. all this charcoal in here that was making my pinpointer go off. I'm like, I know that's not it. That's fantastic. So yeah, 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 beautiful 1920. Awesome. Woohoo. Congrats. Cool, thank you, thank you, thank you. I had a signal here, and I didn't lie dig it because it was like really erratic, 16 to 33. Uh, I'm not getting any other signal now, but maybe it was just the way it was lying down. But I popped it out and uh, I saw a coin. At first I thought maybe like a, another penny, but it's a little thicker. So I gave it a wipe and uh, yeah, sure enough, it's an Indian. 1900s one, I think I see 19. Oh, something. Uh, looks like I did hit it with the shovel, unfortunately. And the back is definitely needs some cleaning. But yeah, there it is. Deep 21 to 24. 
four bars down. But it's deep enough, it could be just about anything. So I've had some good finds in the low 20s here already today. So let's see what we got. All right, I see copper. What do we got? It's a buckle. Ha! All righty, whoops, and all the rusty center just came out. But it's a buckle. That explains the signal. Nice! Well, I just had a 19, two bars down. It's this thing. And this thing appears to have a shank. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big old button. That's super cool. Let's clean it off here and see what we got. I mean, it's weird because it's curled on the edges. So does that make it newer, I wonder? Probably, yeah? Just look at this. But it doesn't have any like maker's marks or anything in it, I don't think. And that's a weird shank. Because <laughs> it was kind of together and then had a hole. So it's a big old coat button, right? That would definitely be what this is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was going high, low, high, low. There's something low and trashy sounding next to this hole. But got the high signal out, which uh, at first I thought it was a coin, but there's no weight to it, so it's aluminum. But I do see the word, or the words, good for. Yeah. So it is a trade token of some sort. But these aluminum ones don't do well. They bubble up. Like you can see here in the back. Good for 25 cents. Something looks like E-T-T-L-E -T -T -E with a letter I cannot make out in front. Maybe Betel. It's probably the name of the uh, store. Yeah, good for 25 cents. There's a hole on top. That's cool. I just had a 22 to 27. Mostly 22, 23, 24. So I figured it was a weedy. And I didn't live dig it, and I should have, because I just found that in the dirt. It's a barber, I think. Oh. <gasps> it's... Warren? A barber. Okay, you know, oh, it's a okay. barber. yeah. Cool. Eight, what? 1909. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't oh. make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Look at that. Oh, it's in really good shape, too. That's awesome. It was, it was, you know, it was a weedy signal. And so I didn't live dig it. Ah. Yeah. I had a 21 this way, but like a 25, 28 this way. And just got it out. And uh, it's not a toy car, but a toy motorcycle. Not very old, but I like finding toys. For sure. So, yeah, neat. Well, I'm on the sheep line, which I was supposed to go to the sheep. I don't know if I'm supposed to be on the sheep line or not, but I have a perfect 2526, but it's only two bars down. There we go. Maybe it's lead. It is. <laughs> ah, where are you? It's a bell. Like a bike bell. <laughs> Me and my bells. Yep. It's a bell. Or it's a telephone bell. Could be a telephone bell. Yeah. Looks like it might be a telephone bell. Wouldn't be a day for me without a bell. <sighs> oh, yeah. That definitely looks like a telephone or a door or something. Yeah. I have a 22, 23, 24. Right here. It's in this general vicinity, right about there. I'm not sure. I mean, there's some iron here, but it's definitely in every direction, so. Hmm. What are we? We are an aluminum circle. It's color of gold. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to unfold it and figure out what it is. It's, oh, yeah. It's something. Yeah. It's something. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a play quarter. Yep. I think it's definitely a play quarter. Play coin. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, cool. Oh, 50 cents in play money. There's that half dollar I said we need to find. <laughs> I found the aluminum 50 cents. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's a riot. Awesome. That is so cool. <laughs> this is interesting. I have, I think, two high signals. One. That one's higher. It's kind of off my line, though, but I'll dig it. <laughs> Yeah, all right, I'll start with the high signal. Let's go both ways. Goodness, much higher this way. Oh, it's a little softer over here. All right, there, it's buzzing. Uh-oh. What am I feeling? That's just a rock. Okay. Oh, I see silver. I see an aluminum cap. <laughs> right there. I'm coming. That definitely looks like a silver dime. Look. It's a mercury. Cool. I mean, it's, it's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Silver That's dime. awesome. Yeah. Go with your weenie. <laughs> yeah, right. Cool. 1919. Oh, good. Early date. That's, that's yeah. what I like to see. That's Only awesome. a few inches down. So that's cool. Nice. Not really seeing a mint, but all right. So Mercury Dime was right there, and we'll go to this one now. All right. So it's going to be probably a weedy. So, yeah. Well, I just had a 12 in every direction but it was consistent so i decided to dig it and i just pulled this thing out and i was like is it a nickel and then i saw like stars going up around it but i definitely, oh, definitely saw some stars yeah. yeah see there we go everybody had nickel woohoo a v nickel it should be a v -nickel. nice that probably is i was mm -hmm. being kind of gentle yeah yeah i see it there's the v you can if you get nice. the light on it right you can see it yep yeah I told you I needed to find like a two cent or something today, so it's close. <laughs> getting there, yeah. 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 Awesome. So let me get in the light here. So the date would be under the head here? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. It would be late 1800s to early 1900s, yep. like the uh, Indians and the robbers. 18-something-six. 96? Maybe. I should probably go back and do those other 12s that I didn't do. <laughs> Is that what it was, a 12? It was a 12, but it wasn't changing to like an 11 and a 13. It was a just staying at a 12. So I assumed it was just a nickel. Yeah. Which it is oh, a yeah, nickel. Oh, yeah, that's a nice V on the back. I have a super deep 11, 12, 13. And it's really just because it's consistent and deep that I'm going to try a live dig. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Whatever it is, since I knew it was deep, it's definitely deep. It's, uh, what's that? What is that? Huh. Has some words on it. I thought I saw some words. Where were the words? Maybe I did. Oh, they're there. The domes. <laughs> What? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. The... Oh dear God, there's so many letters. Thread... The... 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 Dill... Manufacturing... Company. Okay, that's better than Dilps. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, I don't know what this thing is, but it's, it's cool. It's like a tool of some sort. Uh, yeah, it's from the Dilf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Go for a stop recording. High 20s this way. And high 20s to low 30s this way. 
and garbage this way. <laughs> but hopefully that's on its own. Now. So that big thing that was in the ground was this. Not all that bad. It's part of a uh, a uh, chewed up lantern, an oil lamp. So yeah, this is usually the wick feeder would be right in the middle of this thing. So not too bad. This thing's got a lot of sharp pieces. I just had a 20-ish, and I've been digging and digging and digging and found a giant piece of glass, and so I thought, oh, maybe it's just the, you know, neck of a, of a bottle. This is a thick piece of glass. Put that away. And finally, this just came out of the hole. And it's a little lock. It's in really good shape. It's a little brass lock. With some weeds in the hole. So let me get it all cleaned off here. That's beautiful. I had a 23, 24. I thought for sure I was digging a uh, copper penny. But it wasn't. It was this, which I had to clean off a little because I really wasn't sure what I was looking at. It's a uh, neat foreign coin from 1937. It's a threepence. Oh, nice. It's a threepence coin. Interesting. Oh, there's a George. Okay, so it's an English coin, I'm guessing, or some type of British coin. That is different. Very neat. Hey. Very cool. Hey, guys. Hey, Jolly. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you still out here? No, Nikki, those are artifacts. Hi, dead. baby. Oh. You want to see the three pence coin, huh? I don't know. I could figure out. I could bury it if I could eat it. You're such a sweetheart. Get it. A, uh, a three pence. A three pence from 1937. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Well, this one's a long shot. But I have a signal in every direction. I know there's iron here, too. But I just, I feel like it's in every direction. So, I have to dig it. It's probably nothing, but I'm going to give it a whirl and see what happens. Worst case scenario, there's nothing there. I don't know. I don't think so, but... Hmm, huh, I'll give it a whirl. Maybe, maybe. Probably not. But maybe, maybe. Nothing else. Maybe I'll get a nice, nice square nail. Okay. There it is. It is something. Woohoo! What do we got? Boop! I was just saying we needed a quarter. No, sir. I have no idea. It could be clad. Oh. I can't tell because it's all brown. But it's definitely not clad. There's, uh, there's That's stars. Silver. There's stars right there. Oh my goodness. Dirty. Just, yeah, I know. Well, it's, it was just an oh. awful signal. But. Oh, I'm so glad I went for it. And then, like, I I flipped the plug, and there was nothing. <laughs> I think this just peels right off. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, Bobber. Nice. This is why I'm in, I'm in late 18, <laughs> early 1900s land right here. Jeez. What do we got? 1903. That's so funny. All these, like, early 1900s. Yeah, there it goes. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Feels right off. Oh, oh no. look at that. Nice, oh, nice, my nice, nice. quarter. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I live dug it. Oh, woohoo. All right. I'm so yes. glad she invited us to this place. I know. It's so funny. So cool. All right.
welcome to the wrap up at a 1860 home um, that person said I got permission to because uh, of a t-shirt I was wearing sparked a conversation at a local store and uh, I asked the owner and they said come on over so very thankful thank you Lynn and David appreciate it is a plate of most of the undesirables um, things like probably bottle caps and aluminum foil and pull tabs did not make this have a bell to either a phone or uh, maybe a doorbell a spoon this would be I think it's a, a tire valve tool from 1920s part to an old lantern the corner of a chest and a uh, debuckle we have most of a toy motorcycle, a uh, St. Christopher's pendant, which on the back says, uh, I'm a Catholic, please call a priest. A very cool small lock, and a very cool skeleton key. What I believe must be a uh, very large button. I, don't, I wouldn't call it a dandy, I think it's more modern than that, but uh, yeah, it's huge. Some clad coins, a quarter, a couple dimes, a couple nickels, and a few pennies. What I believe is a British three pence coin from 1937. A uh, 50 cent play coin, that's cool. And this is a, a trade token with a hole in it. It's uh, good for, I believe it was 50 cents and I really just can't make out the company name on the bottom there. Six wheat pennies, some older coins, all from the early 1900s, including a uh, 1908 Indian head, 1906 Liberty head v nickel. A 1919 Mercury Dime, 1909 Barber Dime, and a 1903 Barber Quarter. I hope you enjoyed this episode there. We will be um, going back to finish that place up for our next video. So until then, I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more.